This is a KGUN 9 On Your Side news update. Well, if you drive a Medown I-10, you may notice tire shreds on the road this time of year. Mm -hmm. Well, what if we told you that might have something to do with the heat? Tonight on Your Side's Veronica Acosta has more from I-10 with more on what's crucial to get your tires checked right now. Hey, good morning. Well, we know increased temperatures, they can have an impact on us, they can have an impact on our plants, our pets, but they can also have an impact on our cars. Now, for every 10 degrees that the temperature outside increases, the pressure inside your car tires, that also increases by one whole pressure point. Now, when does this really matter? This really matters when you're driving long distances, if it's really hot outside. Experts say you want to get those tires checked, especially if you know there's going to be a dramatic temperature change. You don't don't want to wait for that tire pressure light to turn on. Reporting from the I-10, Veronica Costa Kaga 9 on your side. Oracle Road at McGee is back open this morning after a pedestrian was hit by a vehicle. Oro Valley Police say that person was not in a crosswalk when the crash happened at about 8 o'clock last night. Officers say the driver did stay on scene and cooperated with the investigation. We still do not know how badly the pedestrian was hurt. Meantime, Pima County Sheriff's deputies are investigating its death southwest of Tucson. Not much information is being released at this point, but we do know a body was found next to a bicycle near Bilby and Palomino. PCSD first notified us around 1130 yesterday morning. Now we don't know yet how the person died. Well, more Customs and Border Protection officers and agents could soon be coming to southern Arizona earlier than expected. There is a push to speed up the hiring process. Senator Martha McSally introduced a bill that has now cleared the Senate committee. It's called the Anti-Border Corruption Act. The legislation would eliminate expensive polygraph tests, which is a requirement to be hired. All right, why don't we check in with April Madison for one more look at our forecast this half hour. April, good morning. Good morning to you. 73, we've officially started going up now, but still nice enough if you want to get out there, enjoy a little exercise before it really goes up. 102, that's what we're going to hit for the high today. That is our seasonal norm. So really, when you think about it, we're going to spend the next five to six days below average. However, we are going to stay dry. We are going to see a lot of wind over the next few days officially into summer by tomorrow and we'll see those mid to upper 90s just in time for the weekend.